Hello everybody and welcome on board this Feeling 416 for a look around her interior in glorious virtual reality. So what does that mean to you? That means all you need to do is click and drag or swipe your screen to look around where you like, when you like and hopefully that will give you a great idea as to what it's like to be on this boat without actually being here. How cool is that? Now some people are sensitive to the camera movement so I will let you know when I'm going to move the camera so you can avert your eyes and when the camera is safely back down I will let you know again so you can return safely to me and we can continue the tour together but let's hope that doesn't happen. So we're in the saloon of this great boat we're feeling like we've got lots of head height we have well over six feet here and that carries forwards as we go down a step and forwards so it does drop a little bit here but we still approximately six feet there I think so the tall ones will be okay and uh, we're really beamy we've got lots of white we've got lots of light wood now a lot of the windows are covered and despite the coverings being on we've still got loads of light down here so feeling very like a very nice bright light and airy place to be how lovely is that feelings do do this really really well coming down the companionway where we'll start we have a nice uh, grab rails up here we've got grab rail either side so very easy to get up and down especially in a seaway few steps down uh, we've got the engine cover here so inside there is the engine we have access there we have access port and starboard and also aft which is great the engineers will love you for buying this boat and uh, it's really nice and wide nice and deep so very easy to get down and once you're down here we've got big fiddles we've got handles we've got handles we can move forwards to the compression post or the uh, the rig here or the sorry the chain plates uh, so lots to hold on to in this boat despite the fact it's ginormous down here is really great now as we turn to starboard we're into the galley so we've got a u-shaped galley here lots and lots of room we've got something to hold on to some things to hold on to here we can brace ourselves here if we want to but we've got lots of workspace dedicated workspace here which is quite unusual for a boat of this kind of size we've got a bin locker here you're sitting on one of the twin sink uh, hard pieces of four bike or whatever it is and uh, uh, over down here you can see I've taken the starboard side off and we've got two nice deep twin sinks nice mixer tap and a nice rinsy uh, shower thing there as well so really great for getting the big bits of food out of your pans etc very nice storage underneath storage underneath three drawers uh, this side and uh, as we go round to the starboard side we've got uh, what I can only uh, describe as a whacking great big fridge compartment it's really really deep I think it almost goes down to uh, floor level which is great we have the cooker on the starboard side this hinges back and uh, we've got three burners there uh, and an oven underneath I don't think we have a grill fitted to this boat we have a cupboard we have cupboards we have sliding doors we have microwave and uh, above that we have uh, something to well this is actually a, a shelf I think but I think that's strong enough to grab hold of as is that fiddle nice big fiddle shelf an opening window to let the cooking fumes out and a lovely great big window here matched on the the port side so all in all lovely great big cabin uh, perfect for catering for uh, lots of people on this boat because she's a nice large boat with lots of accommodation really rather good so uh, before we go forwards I'll take you aft and we'll go through this cabin here and plonk you in the middle of the berth here so you're in the after cabin and as you can see lovely big compartment we've got lots of headroom above us this doesn't come down too far so this is the cockpit moulding above us but there's still plenty of room for our legs underneath we've got the, wo the wooden lined hull we've got a nice fiddle shelf here with cup holders notice we have one two three four five windows in here uh, three of which open so lots of ventilation uh, this gives us access to the the rear side of the gear box and the shaft line stern gland bilge etc and uh, in here we've got a lovely great big locker plenty of room in there with shelves two drawers here storage underneath the sink here we have not had a look in there let's have a look yet nice big storage in there and uh, we have our own little sink with hot and cold running water how nice is that and if I close the door you can see we've got plenty of room here to uh, to get changed in private or just sit and read a book etc etc and then if I just open here you can see we have access to the starboard side of the engine Engineer, the engineers will love this boat absolutely wonderful so I'll just uh, hook this uh, back if I can there we go so let's pick you up again and uh, we'll take you this time forwards into the saloon I'll put you in the middle of the really lovely feature saloon table and as you can see it's rather large we do have another leaf that folds up about the same size as the one that's already up so lovely great big table so we can sit people all the way around to eat together which is fantastic starboard side we've got u-shaped seating storage beneath uh storage behind which is accessed via the uh, pilot berth there and as i mentioned on the outboard side here we have the pilot berth which is a, a generous one as well and uh, just look at the wooden lined hull as well feeling really really nice um, we've got one, two, three, four portholes down in this area, so with the covers off, uh, we're going to be feeling even nicer and brighter down here. Very nice looking upholstery, 
good headroom and all in all looking great so the floor's looking good too so um very nice compartment. On the left hand side you can see we've got uh, another berth or sofa for three people. I think an average sized person would be okay to sleep there. Storage beneath, storage behind and uh, what probably was uh, an out uh, an outboard uh, pilot berth up there has been uh, repurposed I think maybe for a bookshelf etc but uh, pretty much a blank space up there and it can do what you want. Really really nice. How good is that? Okay let's uh, pick you up again. And we'll go through this magic door to the forward accommodation. There we go. But before I show you the forward cabin properly, I'll just place you in the forward heads. There we go. Great compartment, plenty of room. Um, just about, I'm five foot nine, so just about touching there. So a bit less than through there, but still plenty. Uh, we've got a, a manual head underneath the sink here. So, sorry, this seat. So if you want to sit down and have a shower in here or wash, then you can do. We have the shower attachment. We have a nice sink. Grab rail here to hold on to. Shelves outboard and another rather large shelf unit there as well for towels, for toilet roll, etc. Keep it all out of the way of the shower. Really rather good. Plenty of room. And if you're on the toilet, you're facing to port, if that's important to you. Let's pick you up again and uh, transport you to the middle of the forward cabin. There you go. So you're sitting in the front bed. That's the front of the boat. That's the back. You can see we've got a port light here. I think there's one on the starboard side there behind that cushion. And you've got a really lovely, nice wide bed here for two people, especially this side extends all the way backwards. Uh, so you can sit here and uh, pull your wellies on, your fowlies, etc., etc., Or even possibly uh, sleep here and then it makes it easier for that person to get in around the corner to their bed. Who knows? It could be your choice. Nice fiddle shelf all the way around the edge of the compartment. The, wood, the wooden lining as well, which I think will just give you that feeling of warmth when you're in here your bums won't be touching cold vinyl etc but uh, really rather good now if I close this door behind me this is the kind of room that we've got just to uh, change in uh, just do the head height test again I think so five foot nine there's probably about five eleven there opening hatch here opening hatch here blinds on both of them I think there's blinds on all the hatches on this boat so we can get a blackout if we need it uh, nice cupboard in the uh, after corner here with a fiddle shelf above Great place to spend a weekend or a little bit longer, I think. You could put the kids in here, you could put friends in here, or if you're a couple, you could be in here too. Very good. So let's uh, exit this compartment. I'll just uh, hook the door back. There we go. Let's pick you up again. And we'll whiz all the way through the saloon back to the chart table. There we go. So you're in the middle of the chart table. You're actually sitting in the middle of a yeoman chart plotter. I uh, don't see those many times these days. Um, lovely, great area. Elevated, so we can talk down to the people there. We can talk up to the people outside there. Uh, this uh, does lift, so we've got room underneath for your pencils, your dividers, etc. They've even placed a groove here for your pencils, which is lovely. Something to hang on to as we're standing around the boat, or if you've got people pouring over the chart trying to work out where we are. Nice seats here for the help for the. Um, for the navigator, some stowage outboard, some more stowage outboard, VHF and all the electric uh, controls that you need there with a the stereo to, up there and a GPS unit to finish off down here. Very nice indeed. Very good area to uh, navigate from. You're forward facing and you've got good comms with the whole boat. So uh, really good. Dig it. OK, let's uh, pick you up. I already have picked you up, sorry. Let's have a look in this compartment. There we go. Camera's safe again. And uh, really good uh, compartment. Well over six feet in here, I think. Uh, sun coming through the opening, uh, the opening hatch here, which is great. We have a manual toilet again with another seat to sit on and another shelving unit there to keep the water off the toilet rolls, etc. And... Uh, we have storage underneath, another good sink with a, with a handhold and another shower head there. So uh, pretty much does what it says on the tin for a heads compartment, no worries at all. And big mirror to admire yourself in as well. <laughs> Let's pick you up again for the final time. And uh, we'll take you into the, sorry, for the penultimate final time. There we go, we're in the port aft cabin. Uh, almost a mirror of starboard aft, but not quite. We've got a lovely wide bed, lovely long bed. Nice slatted wood here, we've got a nice shelf with cup holders, one, two, three, four, five windows, uh, well one of them's a hatch, three of them open, so that's all rather good. Good height here, so we're not claustrophobic, and uh, plenty of seating here to sit and uh, pull on and off the galoshes. If we open this here, we've got uh, access to the port side of the engine, no worries at all, I can see the starter motor, I can see an engine foot there, and the other bits and pieces, all rather good. Some storage underneath as well. Um, all feeling like a nice pleasant apartment to spend a weekend. Of course in here we don't have the ensuite sink, that's because the, we've got slight intrusion here from the heads compartment, but uh, who cares. Right then, this is the last time I'll pick you up and I'll place you pretty 
pretty much where we started back in the galley and sum up by saying that you've been looking around this feeling one the 416 we're Tim from Berkshire Drop Brokers and I hope this has given you a really good idea what it's like to be in this lovely lovely boat very nice indeed do take time to go to our uh, YouTube channel where you'll find dozens of reviews from all kinds of boats from the biggest shiniest boats in Brighton Marina all the way down to the tiniest little fishing boats that are used daily to catch those daily catches thanks for watching hope to see you again soon take care